Okay. First of all, I hate summer. Who hates summer with me? I feel like all of our lives, you know, growing up, we look forward to summer. We're like, oh, I wish summer was here. We're off school, like, woohoo. It's like the beach, the pool, whatever. I'm just like at the stage of my life where like summer is just actually sucks. Maybe I would look forward to summer if I didn't live in Los Angeles where it's like literally 90% of the year it's sunny and warm. The summer is also sunny and warm, except it's not warm. It's 100 degrees and it's been 100 degrees for weeks. And every day I wake up and it's like, hmm, what shall I wear today? It doesn't matter because it's gonna be soaked through. I can't even wear a bra, okay? So my boobs are hanging down to my waist, um, but I can't have any more fabric touching me. We went out to breakfast today. We went and, you know, popped into one of our favorite spots, got some breakfast tacos. Ooh, I just remembered they gave me a to-go iced tea and I forgot. So I'm gonna go get it. So we ate outside, you know, under a little umbrella, but does that matter? No. Where is, oh no, did I leave it in the car? Did I leave it in the car? It's a travesty. Ooh. Oh, this might be Ted's. No, is it mine? I don't know. It's somebody's. I think he got an Arnold Palmer, that's what that is. Anyway, sorry for the hydration break. So we went out to breakfast, could barely eat, first of all. I'm just like eating a taco. It's spicy, I'm sweating. And then um, we were like, let's pop into our favorite thrift store down the street. It's only a few blocks. We start walking, we get half a block and we're like, should we just go to the car and literally go home? And so we did. So that's what it's like. You know, I have AC, so this is just where you have to stay. You gotta stay put. But then you know what else? I just got our electric bill. Why even tell me? You know what I mean? It's like, what What are my options here? Don't even tell me what I owe, just charge me. Cause what am I gonna turn it off? What am I gonna turn it off and just, just waste away and die? No, I'm gonna keep the AC on. So I would rather just not know. I'd rather just go in blind. I mean, Wizard gets absolute cabin fever because his favorite thing in the world is to go outside. And it's like, look, these are his golden years. He's 12, maybe he's 14. He has diabetes. You know, it's like, live your life. I want that for him because, you know, the first 10 years of his life, he lived in apartments. He lived in small, cramped spaces. Now he has a house to roam. He has a backyard to explore. And he's just come alive. He's a kitten again, you know? And I want that for him. When it's 100 degrees out, I'm like, you sh really, you shouldn't, shouldn't go outside. But he just begs and he pleads and then he gets so restless and bored and you can just tell. So I do let him outside for just like an hour. And let me show you where he is right now, if he's still there. Luckily we do have a lot of shade. Look, maybe he's drinking water. She went outside for a minute and now she's in, she's drinking water. I didn't see, I didn't make the temperature hot. Why are you looking at me? Carry on. Yeah, get back to it. No one's stopping you. Okay, you're literally creeping me out. Wizard! He might be laying, I can never find him out here anymore because he like lays in a bush. Or he goes into the neighbor's yard. That's his new thing and that's why we got him a tracking device. <laughs> we put, uh, we got him a collar um, with an Apple AirTag so that when I can't find him, where is my phone? Oh God. We can, oh, here's my iced tea. <laughs> Where's my freaking phone? This isn't even funny. This isn't even funny, dude. Like, oh my God, I'm literally losing my mind. I can literally hear my neighbors outside, so I'm gonna literally beep my cat and see where he is. And if he's over there, I'm gonna be very embarrassed. Hi! Are you just hiding in a bush? Cooling off, hi! 
Okay. See that's, and that's why we have the air tag. I don't have one for maybe because she literally doesn't even go outside long enough to warrant having one. She's like goes out, sniffs around, rolls on the ground, comes back in, takes a nap. She likes to be where her people are. I like kind of dis I like stopped. Okay, so I was having like I like stopped all skincare for like the past week because you can see it's like just about gone now, but I had like allergic reaction. And I think it was from like something with shimmer in it and it like gave me an allergic reaction where like my face kind of felt like it was on fire. But now that's like kind of cleared up, but I haven't been able to do like any of my exfoliating stuff. So I'm gonna be like really congested. I've had blackheads um, since literally I went through puberty. And if you have blackheads, you know it's just like kind of a whack-a-mole situation. Like you gotta clear them up and it's like an ongoing thing. You can't just like squeeze your blackheads and then they're gone forever. You have to be continuous. We used to use those like nose strips, right? where they would be like, they would harden like a cast and then you'd rip them off, but it would also rip off like every single little hair you had on your face and it was excruciating. And then did it even do anything? No. Um, so Hero, who I'm partnering with for this video, has a Mighty Patch, which like we all know they're famous for hydrocolloid pimple patches, which I use a lot when I have like a breakout. They also have a nose strip called the Mighty Patch. Nothing like the old aggressive nose strips that we used to use back in the day. These are all hydrocolloid. So I'm gonna do one now to kind of clear up any of the congestion I've got going on. You leave it on for six hours, so it's better to do like overnight, but I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna stick it on now and just let it sit all day. So you stick it on like, so you stick it on like that and then you peel off the top. Like I could literally like have a Zoom meeting and you wouldn't like immediately know something's off, right? Unless I like came up close, you'd be like, is your skin peeling? Um, and I'd be like, no, I'm doing a pimple patch. Um, and they'd be like, okay, rock on. It never like hardens like a cast, like the other ones. Like this is like, it will just slowly like draw in like the extra like sebum oils and dirt into the patch. And then you'll see it kind of like collect. So right now it's like invisible, but in a few hours you'll see it'll start to get like white from like all the oils it's drawing out so i'm gonna let this sit for the rest of the day and just continue to vlog and we'll take it off at the end of the day and see my beautiful clear nose hi this is me in the future so you don't have to wait to the end of the vlog to see me take off the nose strip so it's been about seven hours since i put this nose strip on and it's all white and gunky so it's time to take it off Oh god, that feels good. Look at that. Can you see all the gunk that was like leached out of my pores? It's a little wrinkly from like being stuck on my nose all day. But it looks so much more clear. Okay, now back to future me. I do have a coupon code for you right here and I'll link them in the description if you guys want to check them out. Thank you so much, Hero. Okay, so I don't really have any like gardening updates really. The only updates is that like some things are, were finished and I had to rip them out. So like cucumbers are done. My lettuce bolted, but I replaced it, which is also like really struggling because it's 100 degrees and lettuce does not like heat. I've just been keeping it really well watered and it like perks up, it's doing okay, but we're just kind of trying to eat it fast but i'm starting some new seeds because we have a long growing season so i actually just started another cucumber another zucchini okay remember when i started these other seeds and like the beans they didn't plant, transplant well okay i tried plant transplanting them in the garden it didn't work out so i thought like maybe i'll just plant a seed but i'm like i just honestly haven't had the energy to garden outside because it's freaking hot so i started um those seeds I just mentioned up under my pergola and they just started sprouting. So once they get a little bit bigger, I'll transplant them into the garden. We'll be able to get another round of those. And then I'm going to start probably around like October, November ish. I'll start my fall and winter crops, but we can't do it. Like it doesn't cool off here until like into November. I cannot wait to start my next seeds. Cause I feel like 
everything I do like with the garden it's like I keep getting better and better and better and now I feel like I can like be better with like planning ahead and get like more out of the garden so like come October November I'm gonna start the seeds under the pergola to get like kind of a head start I might even start them you know what? I might even start them like in early October while it's still warm so that way by the time it actually cools off I have the starts that I can plant into the garden and I've gotten like a head start rather than directly sowing but I will directly sow some things like that don't transplant well but yeah I'm just gonna have like more of a plan whereas like this one I just kind of like went balls to the wall and it worked out fine but now I'm like at a point where I'm like kind of waiting for certain things and like you know I don't know I'm like just have a dream where I'm like I just have this lush growth constantly producing I cut something out another thing's ready to go in right behind it you know what I mean <laughs> I think about this so much I also want to start like a big container garden for like oh my camera dying okay I'm back I just switched the battery so um I want to start like a container garden not of vegetables although I am gonna put some in vegetables like I mean some vegetables in pots like grow bags and stuff because I want to grow like a lot of onions and garlic and stuff but they take a really long time to mature like eight months nine months so rather than like letting them take up so much space in my garden beds I think I'll just plant them in like the grow bags that way they can just kind of do their thing but anyway I want to do like a lot of flowers I'm getting really into flowers I'm determined to grow tulips and that's a really hard thing to do in this kind of climate because they need like to be wintered but I've done some research and you can essentially people in warmer climates can store them in their fridge but I can't order them they usually don't like ship them out to people until September October so I'm gonna do that and it's just like kind of an experiment because I love tulips and I'm like well I can't get tulips just because I live in LA I refuse to believe but I would love my dream is to like have a bunch of pots in the backyard so I have my okay I'm gonna take you out there I'm gonna I'm gonna face the heat just to like show you guys my plan because also like I have been having like a tough time with pollinators as well like I just don't have enough because we have a lot of plants but like just not they're more like drought tolerant plants not a ton of flowering okay so picture like this this is like hydrangea all these other things that are suffering these are really pretty um, picture like a lot of those like everywhere and we got some shade here so we'll get some like shade tolerant ones we'll put like kind of like how the cactuses and stuff are just like a lot more of those so I feel like every time I go to the nursery I'm just gonna buy some more pots it's just better than having to buy everything all at once which is like a million dollars let's buy them over time I've been looking on marketplace try and pick up some secondhand ones um, I'll have some over there so just like I want to come back here and I want it to be like a Mediterranean like oasis we have like pots of just flowers spilling out some on the ledge some in the beds there's just gonna be like flowers everywhere that's my my hope and my dream I want this to be like an oasis I even made like little bee baths um, out of clay so that they can like have a little drink after their hard work yeah so I think just the answer is just more more flowers hi wizard you see his tail <laughs> I also want to get a lemon tree so we have two back here that we didn't plant they were already here and neither one of them are doing well like the soil up here is very sandy very gravelly very compacted and because we don't own the place like I really don't want to put money into it where like I till the soil I put compost like you know what I mean like I'm just gonna kind of I water the plants I let them do their thing but if I own the place it would be a different story so our lemon trees don't really produce like the small one that's younger I'll get like a lemon or two a year the other one which is bigger was not really taken care of very well and it has a lot of like suckers that are just like too big and have like taken over the plant and so like that produces a lot but the lemons are like this big so I would love a citrus tree of my own that like produces a lot but the annoying thing about 
Oh my god, I'm breathing so heavy. It is so hot. The annoying thing about uh, trees, like saplings and stuff, is that it takes a couple years for them to become established before they start really producing. And so that's always kind of like kept me from getting them because I'm like very much an instant gratification person. But I'm learning with gardening is that it takes a lot of patience a lot of the time. So I'm like, look, if I had gotten a little citrus sapling, planted it in a big pot two years ago when we moved into this place, by now I'd be having lemons galore. But because I can't think ahead because I'm instant gratification, I don't. And so I'm like, this year I'm going to do that. I'm going to get a lemon sapling, plant it in a big pot, right? And then eventually, like with some patience, that will eventually be a good size and be producing lemons. And like, how beautiful would that look in my backyard? And because it's in a pot, I can take that with me wherever I go. So everything that I get in pots, I'll be able to take with me. You know, not that we, we just signed another two year lease, so we're here for at least another two years. Um, but I still like, you know, a lot of these plants are gonna last a lot longer than two years. I wanna be able to know that I can take them when I go. I'm spending all this time and money. I wanna grow passion fruit. So I'm just like thinking outside the box here and I'm thinking of like ways that I can make the backyard like kind of like a Mediterranean like oasis. Once it like starts to cool off, I'm gonna start doing some of these things because I just can't, like I can't be out there for more than five minutes. Um, but I'm very excited. So I have all these big plans and my ideas just keep getting bigger and bigger as I get more and more into it. My dream is also to have a, have roses. Can I have roses in pots? I know there are certain ones that do well in pots, but I really love those like big rose bushes that people like plant in their front yard. I know those do better in the ground, but that's like my dream have a bunch of rose bushes when there's a will there's a way I see people in my neighborhood all the time with beautiful flowers in this heat hydrangeas in the full Sun roses and I'm like you do it I can I'll figure it out I think for a while I like shied away from the the container garden thing because like to me I wanted like land I wanted to plant directly into the ground and I just like was kind of limiting my possibilities by thinking that way. And then when I start looking, like go on Pinterest, look at other people's stuff and you see like how beautiful it is and what they're doing because whether you live in an apartment, whether you live in a house, whether you own it or not, limited by space or whatever, there's inspo for everything. And like even like if you, I've had people message and be like, wish I could, I have a garden, I don't have any outdoor space, like get a window box get a window box, put some herbs in there, like start researching these things. Like there are definitely things where you can grow in small containers. Get lettuce, put lettuce in there. What's stopping ya? Sorry I'm like rambling. I'm just like feeling, I'm in such a good mood today. I'm just feeling so good and excited. And um, I'm on my last step of my nicotine patch. Look at this, it's like a freaking postage stamp. It's so small. It's literally seven milligrams of nicotine, which is like the equivalent, it's like less amount of nicotine, less nicotine than one cigarette. So I'm really on the last legs, but I'm kind of nervous because every time I step down, my cravings spike for a minute, for like a few days, which like is scary because I'll be like, I'm out of the woods. I don't care about cigarettes. And then I'll step down to the next step. And then I'm like, I want one. And then I'm like, oh my God, just when I thought it was over. I'm nervous about coming off the patch because no doubt I'll start craving again. But it's not causing me to smoke. You know, I'm not smoking, but like, it's just annoying. I don't want to. And I have some like anxiety every time I drop down where like I'm just quicker to have like, anxiety or a panic attack but then it kind of levels out I'm just excited to be like done with it and not have to do it anymore and just like let my body get over it but man it'll be a good day when I don't think about cigarettes anymore I still think about them at least once a day not all day every day but at least once a day
feels so much better to be like like my teeth are whiter look at them I haven't even whitened them this is just from like manually brushing well like with my electric toothbrush flossing because I gave up coffee too I don't do caffeine but I would do decaf coffee and that was very much linked with cigarettes so when I quit cigarettes I had to give up the coffee as well and just giving both of those tooth staining habits up my chumps are looking good I wish I could tell that I'm breathing better except it's a hundred million degrees and the air is so thick I am going on another trip my last trip of the year thank god we, this year was weirdly filled with a lot of trips. It's not my last trip of the year. Well, it's my last real I just remembered. <laughs> but we're, it's driving, the next thing is driving distance, so. You know, it's more of like a weekend getaway. We're going to have a vacation at the Jersey Shore with my family, which I haven't taken a family vacation with my family in years 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 you know like we do Christmas together and you know I've visited home and like last year we like went to the beach but it wasn't even like my other brother wasn't there so I haven't had like a true family vacation so I'm very excited because I don't get to see my other brother who lives in Philly very often at all we see each other once a year at Christmas and it's usually like for a couple days because he works a lot I pressed my family to do a family trip this year because we do we do the Outer Banks with Ted's family every year and it's so nice to just have everyone together in one house. We're doing the Jersey Shore because we grew up going to the Jersey Shore because my grandparents had a house on the bay and that's where we spent our summer vacations every year. It's very nostalgic for us um, to be together in Sea Isle City and um, so we rented a house for a week and so I can't wait, but I can wait to travel. <laughs> you know me. I'm like rambling. I just feel like we have so much to catch up on. I haven't like sat and just chatted with you guys in a minute. I also did have that iced tea, <laughs> which I'm very sensitive to caffeine. So I'm like, and anyway, I'm blah, blah, blah. that was the second iced tea that really gave me one to go as well. So I'm bouncing off the wall. All right. Well, I'm going to, um, skedaddle for a little because I feel like I talked a lot and I'm gonna go like read a book and I'll check in with you guys later okay bye